Do you want to learn software? You are in the right place, I will show you how easy it is. Do you want to use the old Blink application? This is still possible. Do you want to make projects with Node MCU? I have prepared projects that are best for you but easy to do. First let me show you how it works. I am uploading the code I wrote to the Node MCU card you see. And I can control the LED on the Node MCU from anywhere I want with my phone. It is currently working in push button mode and it lights up as long as I press my finger. If I want, I can put the LED on continuously by putting it in switch mode. Now it works in switch mode. Let's start making it right away. Do you want to learn what you can do with the Node MCU, especially 8266 development board? In this video series, I will tell you how easy it is and what you need to do. Our first lesson will be to light a small LED with the Node MCU development card. Lighting a LED is the starting part of this work, it is easy to do and it helps us to test the connection of our project. We start with the materials we will use. The first material we will use is the card with the name Node MCU especially 8266. This card can connect to the internet, receive data or send data. Connecting to the internet means that it can be controlled globally from all over the world. It can also be used without internet, but this video series will be about internet connected trainings. This development board has 11 digital pins and one analog red pin. To make it work, it is enough to use a USB cable. Another material we will use is two jumper cables, and one LED. Here you need to know that the long part is plus and the short part is minus. This is important when making a connection. Finally, a USB cable to load the code we wrote and run the card. I'm making the cable connections. The color of the wires does not matter, but the plus and minus should be considered. The black one on the negative side of the LED we connect the white one to the plus part of the LED. Here I connect the black cable to the G pin. I plug the white cable into the D0 pin. We can also plug in the USB cable and upload our code. I'm showing you what to do on the computer. I've prepared everything for you. There are two files we downloaded. These files contain everything you need. You do not need to install anything else and you will only need to do this installation process once for this video series. When these operations are completed, you will be able to immediately proceed to the section of uploading code to the board. Now let's start the installation. One of the files will be used for program installation. The other one is for code installation. First of all, we extract these files with the help of the WinRAR program. When the extraction process is completed, we can delete the RAR files we downloaded. We enter our Blink setup files and install the Arduino program. This program is required to upload code. Arduino program has been loaded. Now, the driver needs to be installed for the computer to see the Node MCU board. There are two different drivers for the board. Install whichever chip you have. I am currently installing the CH340 version. Now I will show you how to install the especially 8266 board package and libraries. That it will be different from the installation methods used so far and will be very simple. I prepared these files for you. First, let's install the especially 8266 board package. Unpack the Arduino 15. Click extract and sit back and wait for the installation to finish. The installation process is finished. Now let's install the libraries. I do the same steps again. If you want, you can install both the especially 8266 package and libraries at the same time.
the installation process was done, it was that simple. It will be enough to do the steps done so far once. You can now use it in all projects in this playlist. Now let's open your code. The title and content of the code may vary depending on the project or course, it does not matter. When we open our code, it asks us to update the Arduino program. Update it if you want, but I won't update it because I find the old version more useful. Additionally, when opening our code, it asks for Java Internet Connection permission and we allow it. Now we need to choose our Node MCU Especially 8266 card. I go to the Especially 8266 Boards menu from the Board section. And from here I choose the name Node MCU 1.0. Let's make our text a little bigger so it looks better. Now let's examine our code. You see that the quotation marks are empty here. Since these sections are specific to your project, you need to write them yourself. There are three different information you need to write here. First of all, you need a token number for your project. I will show you how to get it. Then the especially 8266 board needs to be connected to the internet since our project can be controlled from all over the world. To connect to the internet, we must enter the Wi-Fi name and Wi-Fi password we want to connect to in this section. Let's start with how the token is created. First, we need to install the Blink application on the phone. We connect our phone to the computer via USB and transfer the APK file in the Setup Files folder to the phone. Now we move on to the phone section. Let's install the application first. We opened the application and entered the Create New Account section. We enter the email address we want to use and create a unique password for ourselves. Now we need to make an adjustment. Below you see a section with three dots. We enter here and write blink.com.tr in this section. This is the main server address to which we will connect, and it is always active. There may be very rare cases of switching to blink.net.tr only during maintenance periods. You do not need to make any changes to your code during this transition. We just change the blink.com.tr address we wrote to blink.net.tr. After writing the address, we continue by clicking on the sign up section. Now we will create a project. I create a project called LED Control from the New Project section. There is a section below where we will select our development card. From here we select Node MCU. Right below, we select the connection type. For this project, it must remain in the Wi-Fi setting. We can change our theme if we want. After making the project settings, we create our project by clicking the Create section. As soon as we create our project, the token code will be sent to our email address. If you cannot access the token code, you can copy it by going to the project settings. Or you can ask us by commenting under the video. We will add this token code to our code later. There is a button with a plus symbol above, we press this button. There are many plugins on the page that opens. In order for you to use these add-ons, I need to define energy for your email account. Follow the instructions in the description of the video. Don't worry, we will install energy for you immediately, free of charge, and you will start using it in all your projects. After you receive the notification that the energy has been loaded, 
we leave the application and log in again to check that the energy has been loaded. Look, our 2000 energy has arrived. Now I will show you how to place plugins on the control screen. There are two ways to do this, the first is to add them one by one, I need to show it first. Now I'm adding the button at the top. I can position the button wherever I want. I prefer to keep it in the middle for now. I'll extend it a little bit and it's okay. Now I need to set the pin by pressing the button. First of all, I define a name. You can enter any name you want here. Since I connected my LED to the D0 pin, I select the D0 pin from here. I also set the font size to the highest so it will look comfortable. I'm going back. Our button is ready, it was very easy. You can use all the plugins you see here, there are no restrictions. There are many plugins, from scheduling plugin to location plugin. It may be difficult to make these plugins one by one, so I have prepared a very easy way for you, just like the libraries. This is the second way to load plugins faster. Let me start explaining right away. There is a play button on the far right above. I press it, then I press the back button on the far left. You will see the control screen shrink. I scroll the screen to the left and the screen we used to create the project in the first place appears. There is a QR code symbol here. I click on it. It asks us to show a QR code here. Now I will show him the QR code from my files. When I say select, the button and its settings will automatically appear on the screen. Yes, look, it has arrived. This method will come in handy when there are a lot of plugins. You can find the QR code in the description section of the project. There are two separate projects, so I'm deleting the last one added. That's it for the phone settings, now I'm going back to the computer. Look, the token code was sent to my email address, I am copying it. I'm pasting it here. I write the Wi-Fi name I want to connect to here. I am writing the password here. This way, my device can connect to the internet. That's all I needed to do in my code. Now we can upload our code to the Node MCU board. You can see the port part, it is blurred because the Node MCU board is not connected. I connect the Node MCU to the computer with the help of a USB cable. Our port arrived, I choose COM3. And we upload the code. Our code is loaded, I immediately open the serial print section. Serial print setting will be 9600 by default. We make this 115200. Yes we are connecting. Look, we saw the words ready in ping. This shows that the Node MCU board is connected to the internet. That was all the process. Now we can flash our LED from all over the world. We turn the LED on and off like this. If we want, it is possible to turn the LED on continuously. To do this, I go into the button settings and put it in switch mode. Now we can use it in switch mode. Thanks for watching. You can support us by subscribing to our channel and liking the video.